Hi everyone, it's J.R. Foresteros here from the Story Men, and while we're on break from Season 1 and waiting for Season 2, I decided to record a long-awaited potato chip extra of my own. If you'll remember, back in Episode 10, we did an episode called The Crowdsourced Church, where we uh, taste-tested Lay's potato chips live. Uh, but since Michelotos was a slacker and or because he lives in Portland, he couldn't find chicken and waffle chips. So he recorded himself making his own chicken and waffle potato chips and then asked what flavors you thought Clay and I should have to try for our own homemade chips. Well, several of you responded, and so I'm here to uh, do my own homemade Lay's potato chips. Uh, Eric Crisp, who I thought was a buddy of mine, says that I should do habanero chips, so thanks a lot for that, Eric, or possibly coffee chips. So I have here my bag of classic Lay's potato chips. I have a Trinidad, uh, this is a scorpion habanero, which is the hottest pepper in the world right now, hot sauce that I'll put on that chip. I'm not looking forward to this. And then I also have here a nice cup of coffee featuring Troy and Abed in the morning from the very excellent show, Community. Uh, I also, it was also requested from Beth Sekashiro, and Beth, I apologize if I butchered your last name, uh, that I have either beard-flavored potato chips or Funfetti chips. Well, most of my food ends up beard-flavored anyway, so I figured that was kind of an easy one. But my wife, Amanda, who is awesome, made Funfetti Lay's potato chips with uh, fun, actual Funfetti cake, so there's the proof there. And then you see here we have some chips that are dipped, half potato chip, half funfetti. And then we have some that are all completely covered in funfetti, but there is, in fact, a, a potato chip in the middle of that. So I'll be trying those as well. I also, because we recorded that episode before I went to the Middle East, found several flavors of Lay's potato chips in the Middle East that they apparently don't have anywhere over here. So here are some yogurt and herb potato chips. Here are some French cheese potato chips, and here are some chili potato chips. So I'm going to start with these, which seem to me to be a little bit safer, and then move into the others. So with uh, no further ado, let the taste testing begin. Oh, I guess one further ado. should mention I have a nice can of Dr. Pepper here to cleanse my palate. Okay, so the chili potato chip from Lay's, only found apparently in the Middle East. Hmm. Um, the flavor is very faint. They, uh, okay, there is now, I'm, I'm getting a little, a little kick, a little hit of chili. Uh, got good crunch. And the dust. Hmm, it's not bad at all. I think these would be good on a sandwich. Like on a like a ham sandwich or something like that. They have a they have a, a nice faint little kick to them. Oh, not bad. Good chip. I wish we had these. Lays, I wish we had these in, in the United States. Let's move on to the yogurt and herb or herb, however you like to say it. Cleanse the palate. Oh, ooh. I thought these were just going to be sour cream and onion, and they're very similar to that. Ma'am, but they got a nice, it's a little, like, sounds gross, but it's a little bit creamier uh, than sour cream and onion in a good way. I assume that's the yogurt. Oh, yeah, they are great. I would eat these all the time. Wow, super good. Yogurt and herb. Okay, next up is French cheese. Mm, they smell nice. Weird. <sighs> hmm. You know, I don't love these. 
They're not bad. Mm, the flavor's building a little bit, kind of like the chili. I don't know. Oh. They're fine. I'd eat them if they were at a dinner party, but I probably wouldn't buy them. French cheese, uh, pretty weak. Maybe it's a... Uh, Maybe it's a lack of dust, honestly, if I'm going to say that. Um, yeah, French cheese, not great. Just stick with the chili or the yogurt and herb. Okay. Here we go, Beth. I'm going to go ahead and try these Funfetti chips in your honor. First, I'm going to try one of the half and halves. Half Funfetti, half potato chip. Hmm. Not bad. The, uh, the the chips are still pretty salty. The fun fat is a nice touch. I'm going to try one of the whole entirely cake covered potato chips now. Hmm. Hmm. So the chip got really rubbery on the inside. There's not a crunch. I wonder if I uh, just pair. Oh, yeah. That was super good. Mmm. The salty and the sweet, uh, unsurprisingly, is a great combination. Yeah. If you guys want to come over, I'll have Amanda whip up some more of these. They're fantastic. Um, we'll serve them to all of you. Just give us a little bit of notice. Fun Fetty Chips, Beth. Great idea. Huge win there. Okay. Now on to the last two, which I can't imagine actually being very good. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna work up to the bad because you know it's gonna be bad at the end, right? Coffee flavored potato chip. And you can see it's got definitely got coffee on it. No, that's actually not as bad as you would think. Hmm. I'm gonna actually do that again. Man, it's a really weird flavor. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, it tastes like coffee and a potato chip, so I guess that's how I describe it. But, yeah, this is uh, pretty astounding. It's not it's not good enough. It's too weird to be good. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think I hate it, but it's a, it's a really strange sensation. So, uh, I'm going to have a little sip of coffee now. Huh. It is a particularly strong blend as well. I wonder if that makes any difference. Huh. All right, Eric. That wasn't bad. Now, oh, gosh, this is going to be really horrible. Let me get the hot sauce good and shaken up. I'm going to have to eat, like, seven chips with it. Oh, it looks so bad. I don't know if you can see that. You see that, how bad that looks? Oh. Okay. Oh. Got a little bit of uh, habanero sauce. Trust me, a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. Put the lid back on that. Have a couple more chips standing by. Whew. Now I should say, I'll, even though I love spicy things, I don't particularly love the flavor of habanero. So I'm assuming, I'm going into this very biased, assuming that I'm not going to like it. But here we go, Eric. This is for you, buddy. Cool. Yeah, it's bad. Let's continue. I mean, it's good. I think uh, uh, spicy people would like this. I'm going to keep eating chips to try to uh, neutralize it. I should have brought a glass of milk out here. Oh, man. It's so hot. Okay, I'm glad I saved this one for last. Maybe, maybe another fun fetty chip. Huh? Oh, or oh, this is better. Hmm. Okay. We're good now. Prices reverted. All right. Now I have 700 potato chips left, so I guess I'm gonna wrap them back up. This has been Jr's Potato Chip Storyman Extra. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, Clay's the only one left, so kind of decide. Tell us in the comments what you think you would like to see him eat. Thanks, everyone, and we'll see you in Season 2.